Hey guys, here we are for the angle of the sun's rays lab. May <laughs> give you a tip or trick along the way. You need to do it for yourself, but let me show you what I mean. It can be a little difficult with it. First off, you're gonna need a couple of things. Ideally, a meter stick. If you don't have a meter stick, you're probably gonna have something so you can figure it out. And you need a small flashlight. Let me we'll create a light. Now you don't have to have a pin light, a bigger flashlight will do, but it's got to fit on the page. So ideally you get a flashlight that'll work. I'm going to show you what we're doing. You may have to play around with it to make sure your stuff fits on a page, but here we go. For us, we're going to do it from 50 centimeters up. Yeah, I know, right off the bat you're saying, but I don't have a meter stick. Oh, get into the 21st century. 50 goes into right at about 20 inches. So if you don't have a meter stick, I want to get it around there. Now I'm going to use a tip or a trick here. I'm going to tape my flashlight to my meter stick. Oh. I'm going to tape my flashlight down. This way I know I'm going to be right at my 50 centimeters. I'm going to turn it on. And that's what I'm after. I want a nice light shining on it. Now, you may not be able to see it really well. But I'm going to trace my circle. That's roughly what it is. Ideally, I'd like to do it neater. But when push comes to shove, you got to do what you got to do. Secondly, we want to give a 45 degree angle. Now, for my 45 degree angle, for me to get a 45 degree angle using Pythagorean's theorem and all that stuff and math, well, I need it to be 35 centimeters. It still has to be 50 centimeters long, but now I want it instead of a 90 degree angle, I want it at a 45 degree angle. So, now I'm not at my 50, if I go down to 25, I have to calculate my math, and there we are. Now, the light doesn't shine as much. It's in an oval shape. It's probably hard for you guys to see, but when I trace it on, now my light created an oval shape. This is what you're after for the lab. 90 degrees from 50 centimeters away, and I want it at 45 degree angle from 50 centimeters away. So I'm gonna have the idea of direct sunlight, like at the equator, versus indirect sunlight, like how it hits when the Earth is at a tilt, because this is what is happening. Let me get rid of my stick here. And we'll do this where it's a little easier to see. So when the Earth is shining, the sun is shining directly at Earth at the equator, well, I get a circle. But when the Earth is tilted away, I get an oval. We're not any farther away, it's just the angle. And this is what we're after. After you get your circle and your oval drawn, then you're gonna calculate how many photons of light are hitting per square inch. That's just the rest of your worksheet. Should be enough to get you underway so that you can complete the lab. Stay tuned and I'll wrap this thing up towards the end of class. Hope you get it done.